Welcome to our 2018 Astronomicon pickups. We're just in Astronomicon, what, two weekends ago? Yeah, one. One week? <laughs> Recently. <laughs> Recently. We got a bunch of stuff, a whole box full of stuff. I know you can't see it, but it's under here right now. Uh, I guess I'm going to start with these. Adventures of Lolo, Ultimate Stuntman. I actually got these from Bad Graphics Gamers. That was uh, on the house, so I actually paid nothing for these. That puts me at six ninety three. How do you not have? How do you not have Adventures of Lolo? Well, I do now. How did you not have it? It's just one of those things. I told you I have commons that I that I. It's like have yeah, not had. I get that, but it seems like we've run across that game like a billion times. Oh uh, yeah, but you know I'm not gonna pay you know. Java. 13 bucks for it, so. Java the slut. Java the fuck. Uh, we got, dude, we, we're too close. What? Huh? What? I heard you. We're, we're too close to the wall. I mean, a little I bit. I can't see into the, we're, we're, into the box. We're filming now, so we can't I mean, really change it. So this like, is kind of neat. <laughs> this was actually hanging up behind us, and we, we ganked it. <laughs> Hold that. It's the worst picture. Ever. Worst picture. Speaking of which, um, you need to give John a picture of us for game on. So anyhow, we stole that. And we weren't the only ones. I saw everybody taking theirs. Even actual Hollywood celebrities. So if they can do it, we can do it. That's the way I see things. I don't know if I'm right about that or not. But, I mean... Uh, we got a Mogwai. Does he talk? No. He might talk. No? Okay, so more NES stuff, Yon. Goes. Gargoyles Quest 2 boxed. Someone just gave up and came up and gave us this. This was from a Canadian who actually gave us some, which they're gone now, like ketchup chips. Wait, do you have that? Ketchup Doritos and. Is this is not a joke. No, I'm asking, do you have that? I have the game, I don't have the box. Do you need it? I mean, I need the box, not the game. I got the game. I mean, take the box in if you want the box. What's. Mmm. No, there's you're no, up to something. I'm up to anything. I'm just a nice guy. Can I just not be a nice guy? Same. Here, that's that's yours. I wasn't. I was. I think I must have been sick down there when that was brought up. Uh, you were. Uh, we got a coloring. Is it a coloring book? Storybook. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles. Storybook. Adventure book. I can't even see if like they can see. Dude, this is crazy. There's so much room in here. So this uh, this fan came up to me and gave me a uh, a wharf. And uh, this is uh, from the toy line in the, uh, I don't know when these came out. Like, I think it was like late, late 80s or no, this was 95. Um, way off on that one. But I think these started coming out in the late 80s. But anyway, this is Worf. Uh, and I did, don't have Worf. I don't have many of them actually, but they're kind of common. Oh, Ninja Turtles. We got, oh, this one's awesome. This is, this is actually like from the movie, I think, but it's very young. Um, Detailed here on the it is detailed stuff. and it's More like it's stuff. squishy too. It's like not the hard plastic like uh, the other ones uh, And yeah, we got Razar we've got um, rat uh, not Rafik uh, uh, dirt bag. I think it's dirt, dirt, dirt bag. No, is it right thing dirt bag? Who is this? Um, I think was an actual rat. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is That's bullhead. No, it's not bullhead. It's not bullhead. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I think it's dirt bag you're a, you're a fucking dirtbag. And we got a uh, turtle cycle. Of course, uh, can't have a uh, turtles collection without Rocksteady. And they always came out with themed Ninja Turtles so they could keep, keep pushing the line down people's throat. But this is uh, some kind of army version of Leo. Uh, we got a few more games here. Got Tennis and Red Alarm on the Virtual Boy. You don't have either one of those, do you? Nope. Now you do. No, don't. That's disgusting. You don't know where those have been. They don't um, my mouth let's see. Been. This is pretty neat. Little Yoshi stamp. You can stamp Yoshi on you right there if you want. I'm going to do that. Okay. Uh, these are cool. I didn't have any of these, and I do now. They are. Get out of the way. Bullhead. Street Fighter versus Tekken miniatures. We got Ken and Steve Fox. We have Saget and King. We have Zangief, Zangief, and Marduk. And we have Marduk. Guile and Raven. Those are neat. They're like little Legos, except they're not Legos. They're actually quite more detailed and 
have more points of articulation. Elbows, elbows bend, and I think the knees bend too. This guy's got 8-bit Eric chest. I mean, you ain't wrong. So those are really cool. I don't have any of those. Slide those over. What did you have over there? What are you going to do? Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, this is neat. Classic Nintendo cutting board. <laughs> For all the cooking, I'm not going to do because I, I don't cook. And when I do cook, I use something a little bit bigger than this. So I'll just keep it kind of wrapped up as a, as a novelty about yeah. that. Empire Strikes Back um, storybook with a cassette tape. Woo! From Walt Disney Records. Is there a date on this? Walt Disney Records? 1997. Yeah. Well, they knew even back then. Yeah, yeah, they knew then that they would be acquiring one of the greatest movie franchises of all time. Of all time? Um, we have some pretty nifty Xbox One face plates. It smells like pickles. Under. It does smell like pickles. You got the uh, the under faker. It's Taker. John Cena. And what is this? Halo. More like <laughs> Galo. Am I right? Um. And speaking of wrestling. A Duke Nukem figure has aren't, nothing to do with wrestling. Aren't you a John Cena fan though? So you shouldn't you take I'm, it? I'm not actually a John Cena fan. I don't hate him, but I don't like him. You're gonna be seeing a lot of cock. <laughs> we have Donatello here that we missed when we're talking about the Ninja Turtles. You proud of yourself on that one? Slightly. Yeah? Here. Ooh. Talk about that for Here a Here we go. Okay, so we got some stickers. Not just ordinary stickers, but Star Wars fun with stickers. What do you do with Star Wars fun with stickers? Well, you color them in. And then you put them on things because they're stickers. And it's fun. See, there you go. Look. This was given to us, by the way. All this stuff was given to us. I actually didn't buy anything at the con. Uh, I bought something, but I don't have it here. It's the critters. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. I did buy something, but I don't have it here either. So, uh, yeah, it's not really going to do you much good because you can't see it visually, but uh, yeah. I got this uh, VHS display kind of promo thing for Critters, the first, the first Critters movie. It was awesome. There's another keychain. This one's Leonardo. That one was Raph. I don't know if we talked about that one or not. Uh, here. Here. While I'm getting stuff out. Okay, so this is a water bottle. Or I guess you could put anything in here if you wanted to. And uh, it's Mario 3 themed. Uh, here we have a very sensual looking Luigi. That looks like, you know, he was used a few more, too, too many times. His little, his little white things out here is crackling up a little bit. That tells me he was rubbed up on balls way too often. <laughs> That's exactly what that means, right? We have some Harry and the Henderson trading cards. Back in the day, everything got a card line, and Harry and the Henderson was no exception. I actually really like this movie. I think there's actually two complete sets here. Maybe even two and a half complete sets here. Damn. There's a lot of Harry and the Hendersons. It's, it's, we're in a Harry situation with this. You know what we should do? We should actually, uh, I'm sure that there's actually a, a, a picture, like you, know, you put nine cards together. Oh, I'm sure there is. So we should put that together and, and um, frame it. That's it, look, We should right do that there. for all the ones that we right get. Right there, right there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you guys want to see Harry framed, but Harry was framed. Okay, we got, oh, a bag of Transformers. So, we have a bag of Transformers here. <clears throat> And go bots from the looks of it. Wow. A little bit of everything. How is this right? Uh, I don't remember what this guy is, but he really looks like a Psykill from a. His like, face looks yeah, like Psykill, but it's but not. just a GoBot. It's not. He can see Psykill, but um, he's not. <clears throat> we got Ravage. We got Laser Beak. I think buzz that's buzz, buzz off. Buzz off? Buzz is off. It? Is it buzz off? Uh, we got Optimus, obviously. We got Swoop. Um, seen better days, but it's still Swoop. And then we got pieces. Uh, this is looks like this looks like somebody's uh, something. Looks like somebody something. Uh, but yeah, we got we got Transformers. These are cool. I always liked the tapes. These are, these guys are awesome. What the hell was that? I have no idea. Yeah. 
Okay, what else do we have here? We have, uh, that's pretty neat. Let's show that while you're getting that open. We'll talk about some manuals that we received here. We got, ooh, um, yeah, uh, 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 Arkista's Ring. We have, I think that's just a letter. So whenever, uh, I believe it was uh, middle school, it was really popular in middle school. Did you, ever, did you ever have like these kids that would, you know the popsicle sticks that came with the ice cream? Yeah. Paint them up like uh, skateboards and? Nope, I had friends. No? No. <laughs> okay, that made a lot of sense. No, I never painted popsicle sticks like skateboards. I never did either, but there was this group of like skaters that would always do that. Okay, I can see how our skaters would do something like that, right? Dodongo, I'm sure did that. Uh, maybe he I mean, did. call him up right now, he's like, yeah, bro, I got like five of them right here. I was doing them right now, actually. Just got some of that Bluebell cup ice cream. Uh, this is from Back to the Future, it's the hoverboard. Hoverboard. It's kind of the same concept. So you just sit around and you do that. And you do tricks. Except one one of this one of this well And then someone marketed that and called it Tech Dex, remember? It was just it was just one kid that was so nerdy with this, like he would get the popsicles and actually spend all day in class trying to do tricks with it. Like to where he could like do all this this stuff and it was just like I mean I thought it was cool. It was, it was pretty cool. NES manuals here, we got Monopoly, Zoop. It's Monopoly. <laughs> Will of Fortune. It's Fortune. Sim City. Why does that look like a green haired roof? Dr. Dr. Wright's Urban Planning Guide. Actually, that's a, a, a bonus manual thing in the, the thing. How the hell does he have a Hitler mustache? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I can't even answer that. Uh, Final Fantasy 3 and Pilot Wings. Some good games in there. Well, they're not good manuals. Two good games. Manuals, two good games? You know what I mean. All right, we have... What is this? Is this a thing that we need to discuss and talk about? Oh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, so uh, this... And this is, this is one of those things that's like... You know, now that video games have become more popular and nostalgia and stuff has taken over, we get shit like this. This is soap in the shape of rupees. Uh, this... Is uh, blue rupee twenty. Mm -hmm. This is five, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and this is one. Surprised so, that. so if you're really dirty, you use the red one. If you're just mildly dirty, you use the blue. If you just need a quick, you know, like wash your crotch, wash the cooch off your crotch, then just get the one. But if but if you love Jay's bomb, you want the red. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's good. It's good, not bad. It smells, it smells not good. Bad. It smells good. It smells good. I like it. And we got. Do I want to show this? This is for stupid Kingsley, but I don't think I want to show this. I mean, it's it is what it is. I don't care. I haven't even I haven't even told him yet. He don't even know what he got. Yet, well, then so. you should probably uh, I'm not hold going. off. I'll hold off. I'll wait just to give it to him. It's not that exciting, so you're not. No, it's much. really not. Do you guys should I show that? Put it together here in a minute. You probably should. Probably somebody, should. somebody gave that somebody to you. Did so you give that show to me. It. Okay, I'll show that after. So, last things in these boxes are we were giving a buttload of viewing material. All right. In the form of VHS. One of the coolest movies of all time here. We uh, got yeah, Transformers sure. the movie, the for original sure. one. So that was I remember watching that and that was the first time I ever heard a, heard a cuss word in in um in a cartoon, and I was oh, like, shit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because he goes, open, damn it, open, because um, he can't get the Matrix open, because he's not worthy, because he's a little bitch. We have uh, what I can only assume is a home porno. I was told it was a home movie, and I actually asked, is it porn, and they said it could be, oh no, this is Ewoks Volume 1. Oh, nice. Actually. G.I. Joe the movie, it has been forever since I've seen it. Great, that. great movie, great movie, great movie. Uh, we got Ninja Kick the Damn Rabbit. Well, actually, that happened in the first movie, but this is the second movie, and I actually like the second one better. I've always, huh. always have. Funny, uh, Kevin Nash was Super Shredder in this. He and was. He was at Astro. I should have got him to sign that. Should have got him to sign that. Fuck, oh, dang. Uh, we got Jackie Brown, good movie. Quentin good Tarantino. Tarantino's great. Tarantino's great. Uh, Land Before Time. Uh, this is actually want one of this. Uh, Swamp Thing. Yes, of course. Um, and then we got some Land, Land Before Time, really? Yeah. I don't know. This could be a home porn too. Hang on, let's see here. Who remembers Dino Riders? It's one of those I do. obscure, uh, I think it was like late 80s, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I think so. Late 80s. 
Yeah, it's 87. Oh, dude, this is perfect for something I want to do and I'm going to start doing very soon on this channel. Got a Ninja Turtles cartoon um, thing, not like the movie, but the, the TV show. Uh, ooh, yeah, Godzilla versus Mothra, one of the better ones, actually. Uh, and uh, Mars Attacks. One. Mars Attacks, I was... I was never a fan of that one. It was weird. It was, it was okay. It's okay. Uh, we got Bret Hart. Or no, no, no. This is we got Bret Hart on the cover. It's actually about Summer SummerSlam. Uh, we got uh, confirmed hits. Don't know what that is, but yeah. Wrestling superheroes. That's funny. That Road Warrior and Animal, or the Road Warrior, sorry, Animal and Hawk are on the cover because uh, Animal was actually at Astronomicon as well. I sat in on his. I went to his panel and it's actually really good. A lot of behind the scenes stuff. This is this is just like amazing right here. This is yeah. Amazing. I love that. It's Hulk Hogan's uh, Hulk Hogan days. highlights early days, and uh, this is actually is the Road Warriors' road to the championship. So fuck, I should have had him sign. You're not you're not going to see a lot of. <laughs> Exquisite wrestling technique in this, but it's actually kind of yeah. cool to still see like where the legends came from Okay, we got uh, Secrets of pro wrestling. I guess this is wrestling secrets revealed kind of like that that TV show when the magician gave away everybody's cool tricks and shit Yeah, so any the masked magician What's his name? I think uh, Masked magician. Hang on and uh, there's one more game Midway Arcade Treasures PS Deuce and this is really cool. He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Volume 10. With four episodes, three episodes on here. Evil Lens Plot, Disappearing Act, and uh, oh, maybe just those two. Anyhow, this is a Betamax. This isn't a VHS, this is a Beta. Let me see one of those tapes. So for those of you, you oldsters out there, or youngsters who don't know, this was a format that was kind of a little before VHS, trying to kind of compete, and VHS came in and kind of pushed them out of the way. It's kind of like how HD, DVD and uh, Blu-ray. Exactly, exactly. So, a little compare and contrast, a little compare and contrast right there. That's very cool though. I don't, I don't, you don't see these very often at all. I would actually say that Betamax are rare because I never see them ever. They're, they're pretty rare. I mean, anywhere. You're, the, the only time I ever see them around is at like conventions and people are like, I never see them at like pawn shops or thrift stores or, or garage sales or anything. Uh, so Jay's currently putting together the thing we're about to show you, but before we get to that, uh, this was kind of missed. So I want to talk about it because this was given to me by a fan and I didn't get to meet him because I was upstairs sick. I came down with a 24 hour bug or something, but this is, and I don't want to really open it up too much here because it is, it is very delicate. Uh, but this is an original, original Gremlins poster that was hung up in a theater back in 1984. So that is, if you're watching this video, um, I got it, I have it, and I really love it, so thank you very much. All right, so this was the last thing here. This was given to us by a guy, or given to me actually, by a guy named Joel. And uh, <laughs> this thing is exactly what it says, Game Players for Rent. If you can see right here, it says Game Players. Uh, these were actually what held the consoles uh, in uh, the rental cases at Blockbuster Video, uh, like those black cases. Uh, it would just slip right here and this would actually lock and the little thing would flip up and it would hold them in there secure and whenever someone was ready to rent one, they would just uh, unlock it and ring them up. So I will do a video that will go into way, way greater detail later on down the road. I'm actually really excited to have this, especially because I worked at Blockbuster and I used to rent these to people. I used to rent the consoles and stuff like that to people. So Joel, thank you very much. All right, so those are our pickups from Astronomicon 2018. It was a first year con. It was freaking amazing. Thank you everyone who, who came up and said hello, whether you gave us stuff or not. Um, yeah, yeah, it's appreciated. Thank you. Very much appreciated. We are not worthy. And thank you all. We'll see you all next time. Now I'm going to go watch some Dino Riders. You don't got the nuts. Funding for the Game Chasers and the Shady J Show is made possible from our patrons on Patreon. Thank you.